Well, Dylan, you were asking me about this uh, stuff that looks like grass. It uh, really gives off the illusion that it's grass. And when I mow it, it looks really nice. But I'll show you guys what exactly this stuff is. It's all weeds. There's some of it right here. That's the part that wasn't mowed. Some of it over here. This is, of course, all the stuff that's full grown. And we have some other stuff right here. And if you look really closely, you'll see it's not actually grass. It's, I don't know what kind of weed this is, but that's what the leaves look like. And then you have other stuff that's mixed in. I think there is some actual grass that might be mixed in with this stuff. But this is what it all looks like on mode. Now, as I was saying, it looks really good when it's mowed, but unfortunately this stuff all dies out during the summertime, basically whenever it stops raining. Not like we get a whole lot of that around here anyways. Here's some other kind of grass that we have. This stuff is actually hard, the harder stuff to mow, mainly because it collects so much moisture and it's just so dense and coarse. The mower doesn't cut it very evenly. Now this is the stuff that before my dad started tilling the field with the tractor. This is really most of the stuff that we would get. This stuff, this yellow weed stuff, which uh, once it dies, it's got all these pricks and thistles on the side that get into your socks and shoes and all sorts of other things. Used to battle the hell out of those all the time when I was a kid when I lived here. Anytime we would go to play outside <laughs> our shoes, socks, clothes, everything would come back in with these thistles and burrs in them. But we were kids and didn't really matter. And we also had this stuff predominantly. Actually I think it was that. But it's not exactly the easiest um, stuff to mow and deal with. This guy over here, he uh, he sprays for it every year. So he never has to deal with it, but my dad just for whatever reason has never done that. This, uh, we used to have a bunch of eucalyptus trees like those. All along this area right, right over here. And we had drip irrigation going to them. That's how, that's how we bought the house. We didn't put those trees in. Honestly, I have no idea why anybody would want to plant a eucalyptus orchard. Unless, of course, those trees, well, they weren't already here because they had drip lines running to them. But I have no idea why anybody would want to plant an orchard like that one. Because really the only thing that they can be used for that I know of is firewood. I guess uh, eucalyptus oil might be used for something else, but I mean, just the general things that, you know, people have an orchard for you wouldn't expect it to be you know in somebody's backyard other than for firewood but that's what used to be all along here there used to be a tree house over there that we built into one of those eucalyptus trees I don't think I have any pictures of that but I might have to look but anyways back to the grass this stuff used to be all over here and uh, Unfortunately, what ended up killing out, killing off all the eucalyptus trees was some sort of uh, tree bug. Forget what it was exactly, what it was called, but once one tree gets it, the whole the whole orchard's basically fucked, and that's what happened. It started killing the trees off one by one, and uh, me and my dad cut them down as it would happen. But we eventually just got tired of it and ripped them all out. Um, but yeah, this is a here's another closer up, close up look at this, this grass. I keep calling it grass, but it's just weeds. I mean, there's probably about five or six different species of weeds that's making up the grass. But, uh, I mean, it looks really good when it's mowed, but when it's not mowed, it looks like that. It's hard to get through. I'm actually kind of glad the mowers do a decent job of keeping it down and keeping it at bay but really the only way to get rid of it is just to spray it and I don't know how much that costs but yeah 
A lot of good memories out here, boys. A lot of good memories. Used to have a go-kart too, but we ended up getting rid of that, I don't know how many years ago. I wouldn't be able to even fit in the damn thing now. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short five or six minute long video. You know, uh, Dylan, you were asking about it and some of you others probably kind of wondering about it too, but you know, that's basically what the grass is. It's just, uh, it's just about five or six different kinds and species of weeds. None of it's Bermuda, unfortunately. So, catch you all later.